Hi, this is John with Wide of the Scripture, uh, protecting you against the uh, evil mindset of this world with the Word of God, with the Bible. And today we're going to look at Luke chapter 12, verses 8 through 10. And these are the words of Jesus. And he's uh, saying, I tell you, whoever acknowledges me before men, the Son of Man will also acknowledge him before the angels of God. Uh, if we have faith in Jesus Christ, and if we're a Christ follower, follower, then we should be willing to tell other people about Jesus. And uh, our witness, our testimony, is um, actually uh, a portion of our salvation process. Um, we uh, actually have to have confession of our faith in Jesus Christ for our, us to be saved. Uh, we're saved, of course, by faith. That we not only have to believe, but we also have to confess Jesus Christ. And that's a process that uh, continues to occur in the life of a Christian throughout their life. So uh, if you feel ashamed about Jesus, then the Bible says that he'll feel ashamed about us when it comes uh, time to uh, face the judgment. And uh, he'll end up saying, I never knew you. Depart from me, you worker of lawlessness. And uh, But uh, he's going to wel welcome you into his kingdom with open arms if you have relationship with him and if you are acknowledging him in this life. So here, uh, we're seeing here, Jesus is a uh, warning individual uh, to that they need to acknowledge him and uh, tell people about him um, to other men and women. And... Um, we see that uh, Jesus will acknowledge us uh, in eternity to the angels of God and to God the Father as well. And uh, so uh, he's going he's gonna to stick up for us in the end times. He's going to say, that child right there, that one's mine. <laughs> and that's what I want to hear. And uh, I want to, you know, just uh, uh, fall into his open arms and uh, just meet him face to face. And have you ever uh, thought about, you know, uh, coming face to face with Jesus? If you've got relationship with him already, it's a, a beautiful, beautiful thing that you can be looking forward to. But if you're still living in sin, then that is a very, very frightening uh, thing to think about. He's going to be our judge in eternity. Uh, we will uh, come before his throne and uh, he will be the one that will judge whether we go to heaven or or whether we go to hell. And if we have, uh, you know, repented of our sin and we have received him and we're living for him and we're telling other people about him, then uh, we're in good shape. And uh, if we're living for him, you know, living a life of holiness, uh, I, I pray that you have that relationship. I pray that you have made him uh, your Savior and your Lord that you have repented of your sin and you have received Jesus Christ uh, so that you can acknowledge uh, to others the fact that you have uh, accepted him as Lord and you can actually possibly even lead them into God's kingdom. And uh, if you uh, are a person that's uh, born again, if you're saved, and then you're acknowledging Jesus Christ, then he's going to acknowledge us uh, in the time... Uh, where, we're, where we are in heaven with him. So be prepared for eternity. Be prepared in this life as well. Uh, this is John with the light of the scripture, encouraging you to get deep into the word of God and let the word of God get deep into you.